Hey everybody, it is Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures and today I'm bringing you a live uh, merch creation from start to finish uh, because, well, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people have been approved lately. I've been getting a lot of questions which I am happy, happy to answer, but I feel like if I make a video then it will be able to answer a lot of these questions. And I have some more lined up that are going to be more in detail, but I wanted to get one out there and I thought I would go ahead and do it live. That way if any questions came up as I go along, um, you could ask in the chat because once I get going, sometimes when you're not a beginner anymore, you forget some of the, the, the foundations and it, you just kind of skim over those. And so I want to make sure that I can answer any questions in case I skip a step or don't explain it clearly. So uh, let me say hi real fast in the chat. Um, hey, going on Grumpy and Jason and Camilla. So hi, hey, Wisconsin seller uh, and Bobby Bargains. Hello. All right. So before I get started, why, you know, first I want to share who I am and how long I've been doing this and all of that good stuff. So. I was approved, I'm looking back, I I thought I was approved kind of towards January of 2016, but they've, ex I don't know if this is extended or they've updated it, but it's showing all the way back to September of 2015, uh, but there's no earnings. So I didn't start earning until January of 2016, and I wanted to show you how it started out for me as far as um, the financial aspect of it. So I'm going to screen share my my earnings reports for each month so you can kind of see where I've come from and maybe get an idea of why I'm so on fire for merch um, because I am. So here we go. So here, let me make sure I'm, you can see that. Uh, this is my, it says analyze your estimated earnings. Hang on, okay, I do have that up. So here we have this, and again, I'm showing you this uh, because I want you to see why I, I've started really focusing a lot more on merch and uh, I really want everybody else to be successful. So here's, you know, 2015 zero. My first month when I when I sold a shirt, you know, I think probably sold one shirt and made $7.39. And then it started growing each month. March was a little lower, $23. So every, you know, the first few months up until about May, June, I was like, yeah, okay, it's okay. It's a little bit, you know, it's a tank of gas. That's cool. And then slowly, you know, once I started around this, you know, June, July, August, this is when I started seeing some of the, the guys that were bringing in thousands of dollars every month, and I decided I was going to really start taking it more seriously. And so I started trying to learn more, and and from there, I was able to start um, selling more because my designs got better, and also once I teared up past the 25 level, you know, you get to 100 and then 500 and then you have more opportunity to to sell shirts so it from there it went to 600 800 over a thousand this is in December and then it's gone back down you know towards the 600 mark pretty much every month but I am perfectly happy with that uh, of course I would love it to be more into the thousands but at the moment I mean the the 600 level is was kind of where I'm, where I'm floating lately and like I say that's you know really great for us because it's another car payment and then some so yeah um it's been a game changer and this is something i've heard from a lot of people that it that the merch has been a game changer so i'm on the the 500 tier i've sold over a thousand shirts um from the beginning until now um i'm just again i'm saying this so you'll know i'm not just like some random person popping on like doesn't know anything and just got approved yesterday so uh also with that being said, I, I want to say I am by by no means an expert, and the way that I'm going to show you is just the way I do it. Um, I'm going to be using PicMonkey because that is where my comfort level is. My husband has tried and tried to, to teach me Adobe Illustrator, and I I know that's the best way if you're really wanting to get serious with your design and all of this. And there are lots of great tutorials out there. Um, so. That if you're looking for an Adobe Illustrator tutorial, this won't be it. Um, so, but if you're looking for a, I don't know, Adobe Illustrator, help me please. That's what I'm, that's what I'm bringing today. Okay, and also, um, I'm gonna go back into the chat in just a second. I wanted to uh, give you some other people that have been putting out a lot of really great information. Um, there's some Facebook groups, like um, Chris Green has a Facebook group. 
and I think it's merch. I think it's just called Merch by Amazon. But if you search Chris Green Merch by Amazon, he's got a group out. Um, Young and Glenn Zubia have a podcast called Merch Minds, and that's on iTunes. And let me share with you what that looks like. Um, if you're not listening to that, I highly suggest it because they talk all things merch. They talk um, design. They talk best practices when there's any updates. Uh, so I listen to them every week. I love it. And and they're, they have a really good rapport. So it's really fun to listen to as well. They're really funny. Um, and then two other YouTubers uh, that I would suggest if you're not following um, one is Glenn, who's Hustler Hacks. His channel, he does eBay and stuff as well, but then he, he does a lot of um, merch stuff as well. So here, he made over $55,000 last year. Oopsies, I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, he made over $55,000 on merch last year, and he shows how he did that, and he, he talks you know, in very plain terms about what's, what's going on in the merch world, and, and he, he does have a design background, so... Sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing. So he knows what he's talking about. So he's got lots of merch videos as well as other things. And then same thing here with uh, Treasure Gnome. He also sells on eBay, but he's got some really good um, videos on designing shirts in Illustrator. He did some kind of like this where it was live and he designs, you know, as people are talking to him in the chat. So Treasure Gnome is another one to listen to or go watch. So those are ones that if you're looking for something else also um if you're new and you're wanting to just absorb as much as you can those are some great places to start there's a ton out there but those are some really good places to start for sure all right so let me look in the chat before i um jump into what we're going to do today so yes a lot of people have been uh, approved a lot of people are still waiting my husband is still waiting he applied in october we're still not there yet. Okay. And then I see some people in the chat talking about Camilla. I think she's talking about hiring designers. That's one way to go for sure. Um, I did that once or twice, maybe hired. I hired a couple off of Fiverr. I wasn't really happy with it. So I didn't really go back. Um, uh, Treasure No Mike, he, he did design a shirt for me. He's on Fiverr. And I was like, hey, you know, let me just see what you got. Right. And so that, it, it turned out really good. So and I think Glenn designs shirts as well. So they, these guys are, they've got all their balls in the air. <laughs> um, okay, lots of people. Hi, hi, hi. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's any questions before I jump into this. Hello, hello. I know lots of people. Is there a secret to getting approved? No. <laughs> Young says, teach me, uh, pick monkey. Hi, Young. In, in the chat, retro aficionado is Young. And for sure, Young, I was, I was hollering y'all out. And, and they, Young is for sure the Adobe Illustrator, you know, he's the big proponent for that. Anyway, okay, so let's go. Um, ben, oh, Beth Sherman, where, so where are the shirts listed on Amazon? So when you're searching for a, a merch shirt on Amazon, it, they won't be like, these are the merch shirts. Like, But if you want to find out, um, let's say you were looking for what shirts are up on merch, then there is a a tool called Merch Research. Let me share this page for you. Because I use this, this is a website I use all the time. So this one, Merch Research, is a shirt, uh, a, a website where you can come in here, and if I want to just see all the shirts that are up, pretty much, um, that are merch related, I won't type anything in, and I'll just click Show All Merch Shirts. And so these ones are merch. Generally, when I see the shirts, and they've got this little white tag hanging there, like those are merch shirts. <laughs> okay. So here, this is showing us without typing anything in all the shirts that are merch and I can sort by newest arrivals. So the ones that have just recently been approved. So these are all merch shirts. And if I go in and type in, I don't know, cat, you know, it'll pull up all of the merch shirts that have cat in the title or cat in the, you know, somewhere in the keywords. So there you have it. So there's that. Let me stop here. And I'm going to get to the step-by-step -step pretty soon. Um, any experience with GIMP? Chicago Crown Hustler asks, no. Someone who got approved applied a month ago. But yeah, I've, I've heard of people getting approved that applied more recently than my husband. And 
Do you think you make money with the 100 slots? I think you can, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I've known people that were still in that 20. It depends on your shirt, your design, your, you know, some people do marketing. I don't do a whole lot of marketing anymore. I did for a little bit. Yeah, it was okay. Um, but absolutely, you can. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, all right. So let's get started. I wanted to share. Let me make sure I have my tabs all in the right order over here. And um, as I said before, I use PicMonkey. Oh, one more question. So will it come up when someone is just looking for a cat t-shirt? Yeah, they can. So like if you were just in Amazon, somebody's searching for cat shirts, then yeah, other people's shirts will come up, your shirts will come up, and so on. All right, so here we go. Let me jump over to PicMonkey because this is where I like to do my designing because I'm familiar with it, I'm comfortable with it. I'm trying to get my my uh, windows over here so I can see you and I can see what I'm doing as well. All right, so when I come to PicMonkey, I'll, I'll select design and this drop down will come dropping down. And I choose blank canvas. And here it will open up different sizes. So here I'll choose uh, eight by 10, just because it's, similar to the size of the front of the the shirt. Now, I've already created a shirt, and I wanted to show you guys, I'm going to pick on myself today. I have another video that I'm going to put out about coming up with ideas in this particular shirt idea that I have, but I wanted to go ahead and do this step-by-step -step because I saw so many people getting approved, and just show my, my process. And again, I don't think it's necessarily the best, but this is my process. So uh, I'm going to pick on myself for a minute <laughs> because I I created this shirt here, but now looking at it, I'm like, ooh, that's not the best design. So Chicago says, is this vector based? Um, it can be. It's like I say, it's not the best. So you know, sizing it up and down. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that. <laughs> so. This is the shirt that I created for my other one. And now looking at it here, I'm I'm picking at myself because the the little font in between is for the it looks too a little too small. So I'll probably be coming back and and fixing that. Uh, and, and this is also my personal preference that the design doesn't take up like the whole front of the shirt. I have a different perspective. <laughs> so some some people really want the the shirt to take up like the the graphic to take up the whole front of the shirt i am a lady and so like i have you know the lady parts up top and so when when a shirt does that to me my the image is different <laughs> i don't know how to describe this so coming from a lady's point of view like i don't necessarily because then you can't see what's underneath i don't know anyway so i i think i have to think about that from a lady's point of view and from a guy's point of view. Um, so some shirts maybe I should make with a larger graphic on the front because most guys, they're they're working with a flat canvas, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, um, okay, let me just get back to that. Here we go. <laughs> and and I again, um, about, well, yeah, I'll just go with it. Um, I'm doing okay using PicMonkey. We'll just go with that. <laughs> Carefully said, Chelsea said yes. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, so again, this is one of my shirts that I made that recently, that now I'm looking at it with a you know, new set of eyes. I'm going to um, be fixing that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And so I'm going to pull up another shirt that kind of falls into that same, <laughs> that falls into that same genre. Um, and again, as I say, I am going to do another video explaining how I came up with that. I have all the windows and everything. Um, so yeah. Um, Jude, is PicMonkey free, right? There is a free version and then there's a paid version. I do pay because I use it all the time. And it's it's not that much for the year. So um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Who else is in the, oh, Treasure Gnome's in the house too. Okay, hey guys. I'm sure I'm missing tons of people. Okay, I'm, I keep getting sidetracked, but I'm gonna do the shirt design now for real. So I'm going to share with you a shirt that I already made, a uh, design, I haven't uploaded it yet. Um, so what I wanna do when I'm coming to my white canvas and I'm adding 
my design, I come over to add your own. First, I have to select the little butterfly because that's where the graphics are. Uh, add your own from my computer. And ah, where'd you go? Oh my goodness, I had it on my desktop and now it's not here. Where is it? Oh my goodness, where did you go? There's lots of Jim Mortigardi pictures there. <gasps> Hang on, let me find it again. Let me save it onto my desktop and then I can find it. Uh, sorry, dudes. I would open it into the from the folder where it is, but then there's all these other shirts that are in there. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to show all of my shirts. I uh, just want to show you this one. Okay, let's try this again. So, <laughs> goodness gracious. These just keep wanting to open up. Where did they go now? Here it is. Okay. So, here we have a, sh a shirt from the same theme. Um, about twitching, <laughs> and I promise I'll, I'll get to that video later. So this was a shirt design I created before. Let's say you have a design or you wanna create a design. I don't wanna spend the whole time creating the design because I had a lot of people asking me for just a step-by-step -step how to get your shirt uploaded. Um, so again, I act like you know the neckline is right about here where the white is, so I don't want it too, too close up top. Drop it down a little bit, twitching for the weekend. Twitching has to do with bird watching. I went with that because it's a niche. Here, let's go back to merch research and I'll explain that real fast. So uh, if I type in bird watching over here, you'll be able to see how many bird watching shirts are up there in merch. So there's 253 bird watching shirts, which yeah, is not that bad. Um, but when I do my research about like different, you know, vocabulary to do with bird watching and whatnot, twitching was something that came up. So when I did a, a search for twitching, um, there were a lot fewer shirts to do with twitching. How many? 11. So I'm, you know, I might have a smaller range. Hang on, let me. So I might have a smaller range of people looking for my shirt, but I'm not swimming in a sea of like 5,000 shirts or something like that. Uh, and that's generally, you know, I mentioned this in a few other videos. That's generally my strategy. I don't usually go after big, big trending topics. Every now and then, if something pops up for me, I will. But generally, I, I try to narrow into smaller. Um, smaller pools, you know, big fish, small pond, right? Instead of, you know, anyway. So that's that's kind of where I where I go with that. So let's go back to my twitching shirt. <laughs> Sounds like twerking, doesn't it? <laughs> where did they go? Where did I go? Okay, let's see. Where is Pick Monkey up here? Boop, 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 boop. There you are. Okay, so twitching for the weekend. Okay, let me go back and see because I saw somebody leave a comment about the the placement on the shirt. Okay. Clearing clutter for clarity. I had a shirt rejected. I can't figure out why. Another's been pending for over 24 hours. Um, I, and I have had a few people um, tell me that, you know, their shirt was rejected. And I, I've, I've had, I have no problem taking a peek and, or, you know, in the groups, if you want to share with the groups, then usually people can, yeah, let you know what your, what, what happened. Um, placement is what I left out on my last comment. Uh oh, I missed what your comment was. Okay. Make sure it's about twitching. Got it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the reason I'm showing this to you is because I'm not like married to it. So it's cool. All right. Um, so here I've got my shirt. Now the, what I need to do is make sure that it is, uh, transparent. So if you're using pick monkey, oh, let me do one more thing. So these little ball things on the corners, I try to get them lined up with the edges, you know, so I can see if it's centered. So now it's centered. I have to just decide, do I want to make it bigger or not? And I think it's okay. Um, once it's at this point, I might make it bigger, but I want to make sure it's there first because then it kind of, well, it's not growing like I thought it was. So it's, it looks bad. I'm eyeballing it, but Hey, this is uh, that's what I do sometimes. Sorry guys. <laughs> so the next thing I need to do is make sure that the background is transparent. So when you um, are on Pick Monkey, come over to Basic Edits, Canvas Color, and down here it's uh, got a tick box for Transparent Canvas, and now it is transparent. So I will apply that and save it out. Twerking for the birds. There you go, Treasure Gnome. That's right. <laughs> twitching for the weekends. Yes, yeah, I, I could do twitching for the birds, right? It sounds like twerking. So I'm just going to save it out as twi. There we go. The size is not correct, but that's okay. And then another thing that I do is I generally save it out in a light as well. So I have two designs. 
And I had someone ask me yesterday, so how do you save two designs? Um, you know, is it one listing? No, it's going to, ah, no, I don't want to cancel that. Um, I don't want to, it's going to take up two of your slots. So I'll, I'll save it out both ways, a dark, a dark for a light, a light for a dark. I do this personally because that way, you know, once those 60 days are up, I can see which one was the better seller or if, you know, one, one sold and one didn't. You would think, I mean, generally the light colored font sells better, the light on the dark, but sometimes that's not always the case, you know. So, yeah. Um, I'm looking in the chat real quick. Uh, yeah, don't use trademarked words. We're going to get there. Good way to get your account banned. And Treasure Gnome, I have noticed it takes longer for a shirt to get through review for me if I use the bullet points than if I do not. Oh, okay. Interesting. And Lisa says, do you create numerous designs for a few niches or do you just dabble in a lot? I, d I dabble in a lot. I have, you know, a few shirts in a lot of different niches. But then sometimes I'll get fixated on one. You know, like if I'm doing, if I'm like, oh, I'm really thinking about bird watching, or I've been doing a lot of research about bird watching, then suddenly I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I, when I do the other video, you'll see my process where I, I start really looking into not just the, like, oh, here's bird watching. Let's look at birds. Let, you know, but I start diving into the vocabulary of it, the, the kind of jokes, the puns, the, I, I try to immerse myself into that, <clears throat> that, a person in that lifestyle what kind of things are they looking at what kind of jokes are they telling their friends what kind of vocabulary are they using with their fellow bird watchers you know so it it really starts um, kind of like spider webbing out into more ideas yeah okay so here we go <laughs> again if I'm going too fast or if, I, if you think I'm skipping something or need me to clarify something let me know, because this is, again, I'm just showing you what my process is. So I've saved these two out both ways. <clears throat> now, uh, there are two different ways that I, the way I, let me just show you, because I have a Mac. So I'm going to show you how I resize. Hang on, let me stop screen sharing this, because that's not what I want. So there's, <clears throat> pardon me again. There's, the way I resize stuff, I use my, my Mac, because I know how to do this. So if you don't. But if you don't have an Apple computer, Apple product, then I'll show you uh, a website where you can resize your images. So let me screen share my images. <laughs> Nevada says, sounds like you're a psychological profiler for potential t-shirt buyers. That's right. <laughs> okay, so I'm screen sharing the shirts that we just, you know, quote unquote made. Uh, I'm selecting them both. And I don't know if you can see up here. Probably not. I'm, gosh, I'm not sure you can see that. So I'm selecting tools. I may have to show you later. Is that, no, it's not showing up for you guys. Um, but there's a way to do it in preview. I'll have to show you later because it's not showing you up here. But I will um, show you the website because my friend messaged me yesterday and she couldn't figure it out. And she didn't have a Mac. And so she said, here's a good website. So now I'll show you the website instead because... I can't do it live apparently from my screen. So this is called resizeimage.net, which I've never used. So we're going to use it together. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> so I'm uploading my image. Is it uploaded? Not yet. Okay, so here's my image uploaded. Crop your image, no thanks. Selection area. Hmm. Oh, brother, maybe I should have done this. So here we go. I need it to be 4,500. I do not want to keep aspect ratio by 54, oops, 50, oh dear, 5,400, and on my preview, I can change the, you know, change it to 300 DPI. I'm looking on here to see if it's giving me that option. Is that what I need? Oh dear. See, I should have played with this before, but I didn't. 100%. Well, let's... Save it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it out and see if it ch it's saved for what I needed. Oh, here, no, no, no. Here we go. That's not what I want. PNG. Gracious. I should have played with this before. Sorry, y'all. She said it was easy. <laughs> and, okay, I'm going to have to play with that more because I don't want to sit here and try to figure it out. So, <laughs> I'm going to just resize it the way I know how and then... 
later I'll show you that website when I figured it out because I just thought, oh, she said it was easy. I'll just do it real fast. So I'm going to adjust this. 4,500 by 5,400. That way I can just get to the next uh, step for you guys. And, all right, in the chat, we're listening to you coming up. Yeah, inside jokes, giving niches. Yes, yes. I am. So, yeah, Maggie, a lot of times I resize to that, it stretches the image. Is that normal? Um, I guess it depends. I, I, it's never happened for me. So like here, I'll show you. I just resized mine, and it just made it bigger. It didn't stretch it or distort it or anything. So it still looks the same. I guess I'd kind of have to see your process for, for how you did it because it, it doesn't do that for me in the way I do it. So um, the next thing I, I need to make sure that I have done is check for trademarks. So I'm going to share with you a couple of the websites that are out there to check trademarks because this is what gets a lot of people into trouble. Um, they don't think about the phrase being trademarked. So here's a, a website called Trademarkia. Another one is this USPTO.com and you can do a trademark search here. Uh, I generally use Trademarkia. Yeah. So my shirt says uh, Twitching for the Weekend, which I doubt. Twitching for the Weekend. And then I'll search. And no, there are no trademarks there. I want to see if just Twitching is, just for curiosity's sake. Let's make sure. So again, there's no trademarks for Twitching either. So um, I'm good there. Now, I've done this, I'm gonna close that out, and I'm ready to upload my shirt. So let me stop here so I can open up that window without showing you my login and all that good stuff. And we'll uh, list this shirt. I feel like I'm skipping steps, so yeah. I'm looking in the chat real quick to FYI, for anyone wondering about merch, it's a great platform. You can still make money, yeah. And and I've, I've been seeing a lot of people getting tiered up pretty quickly, so yeah. I'm at the 500 tier, so but I, I haven't I haven't tiered up yet. So let me see if I can get this to where you can see where to click without seeing all my shirts that are up right now. Oh, uh, okay. I thought, yeah, let's do this live. That'll be fun, no problem. There won't be any hiccups. Of course not. We can do this. Okay, so here we go. Let me screen share this so you can see where I'm creating my shirt. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> and here we go. Hey, guys. So here we go. I'm going to create my shirt. Now, I've already uploaded my shirts for the day, but I can save it in draft. So I'm going to click um, Command on my Mac and then I'm gonna click create. I'm gonna click it twice because I'm going to upload two designs. Let me close that out from over here. So here we go. I'm uploading my shirts and I, and I normally, this is what I do. I have two of them, you know, the inverse, black on white, white on black. So I have got two going at the same time so I can upload two at once. Now, I'm going to put it in my same, where did my shirt go? I know, I opened it for you. Here we go. So this was a birding shirt that I made. I talked to you guys about it at the beginning. So I put it in this shirt category called birding shirts. Let me open that up to show you guys. So these, not all of these shirts are my shirts. You know, they're birding shirts, but anybody can call their shirts birding shirts. Oh, let me, let me talk about that real fast. So when you're naming the brand of your shirt, it's not necessarily going to be your brand. So when I signed into Merch and, you know, it was like, what is your business name? That's Texas Gal Treasures. But when I'm creating my shirts, I don't put my brand Texas Gal Treasures. I put, now some people create a brand for themselves because they, they want to build their own brand, which is fine. But I brand my shirts having to do with what the shirt's about. Like if someone is looking for, bird watching shirts, 
what are they going to look for? They're not going to look for Texas gal treasures. They're going to look for birding shirts or bird watching shirts or that kind of thing. So that's what I do. Um, I, okay. If the, if you have a question in the chat, make sure you like really pop it out for me with the cues or the question marks or something. Cause I'm afraid I'm missing things. Okay. So let me go back to where I was so you can see the birding shirts. And again, these are not all my shirts. Um, but here, you know, amateur twitcher. Yeah, I did the twitcher shirts, the twitching shirts, <laughs> just because it, it was a very underserved population for things. So here we go. They have uploaded. Do I like the way they look? And sometimes when I'm designing, if I'm not quite sure, I'll run over to this, you know, merch and I'll upload them just to see how they're going to look on the front of the shirt. And sometimes I don't like it and I go back, you know, back to the drawing board. So I will approve that. That's what I want. Yes. Twitching for the weekend. There we go. Uh, Purple Lily, do I have a Texas gal treasure shirt? I don't. <laughs> I think I used to. You know what? Maybe I do. I think I have one that says Texas gal on it. <laughs> okay. So I, when I am creating my shirts, I select Anvil. My, the reason that I'm, um, create my shirts on Anvil is because the American Apparel shirts, oh look, now it's a slim fit. It didn't used to say slim fit, I'm just gonna say. Um, because I created a shirt for earlier on in the game and it was an American Apparel, I mean, yeah, American Apparel shirt. And I ordered an extra large, which is, you know, I wear an extra large shirt. I got it and I, it was like no way on this planet I could wear it. I had to give it to a, a girlfriend of mine who wears a size medium. It was that small, that slim fit. So I just gave up with the American Apparel shirts. So all my shirts are Anvil now. That's just my go, my go with it. Okay, now I see another question. Would you need to trademark twitching for the weekend? No, no. <laughs> twitching is bird twerking, Joe. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, oh, good, Joe. That sounds good. Joe says he's going to make a tutorial on how to make a shirt from your phone and upload it. Good. That's good. If there if there was a, a market to sell local shirt companies for on your account for a percentage, I thought about that. I thought about that. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. So I do select men, women, and youth. The reason behind that is, like, even let's say the shirt was maybe more for an adult, like the theme was for the adult, the reason I go ahead and select youth is, what if you're a really small woman and you and you wear like a child size large, you know? So that way that, you know, who, who am I to say <laughs> who's ordering a youth shirt, you know, maybe for an adult that wears a smaller size and that needs a tinier shirt, you know what I mean? Or maybe they want their midriff to show and they want it super tight. <laughs> so generally on my, on my white shirts, I select um, black and navy, brown, um, the cranberry and uh, what is this one card like charcoal or something like that generally those are the colors I choose and then see it looks good with the other ones too though but then on the black shirt then I will choose some of the more poppy colors um, and another thing that you could do let's see yeah yellow that looks okay that red is really red I'm just saying but who am I to say right somebody might like <laughs> Small women don't twitch, she says. <laughs> okay, so then I have to decide on my price. So generally, I've been pricing mine starting either sixteen or seventeen ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine, and I do it kind of depending on the look of the shirt and how much design I think went into it personally. Unless it starts selling a lot, then I bump the price up. So let's start these off at sixteen ninety nine. Um, so. This is the profit I would get if it sells, 513, which is fine with me. So then I save and continue. Again, I'm going to come over here, 1699, save and continue. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm not talking to you very much. Hit that thumbs up. All right, so here we go, my brand name. This is where we were talking about. I'm not going to put Texas Gal Treasures, but I will take a look at my shirt. Where's my other? twitching shirt and I I like it easy so I just come over and copy and paste I'm selecting birding shirts and I'm hitting command copy Joe says I never select brown now now maybe I will yeah I do uh, and then I come over and just paste it in birding shirts 
and this will be birding shirts as well. And so then I come over, because I feel like I already did the work for it, right? Where do they go? Here it is. Amateur twitcher shirt, bird watching twitching shirt. So I'm going to copy this. I'm not going to keep it exactly the same. Uh, let's see, twitching for the weekend. <laughs> and this shirt may flop major, but we'll keep an eye on it. How about that? For the weekend. This will be my, oh, and then I want a shirt. And I know I've got too much here. Amateur twitcher. And I'm going to put, if it'll fit, I don't know if it's going to fit, bird, birder, birder? Yeah, why not? A birder. Smash that thumbs up, Joe says. So I, yeah, that's what I'm doing for the, for the title. And then down here on my twitching for the birds, I'm going to select my keywords that I put down here. And I will paste them in over here. Uh, all right. Because I already did all the work. Because when I do this down here, and again, I'll, I'll talk more about that later, about how I come up with what I write down here. Uh, this is part of the process when I am researching all of the kind of vocabulary that goes along with a hobby. So my, my sentences, I don't keyword stuff. I don't say this is great for your mom, dad, brother, sister. Have it for them for Christmas, Valentine's Day, blah, 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 blah. No. Um, I will... <laughs> I, I, I make it into a sentence. So whether you're spotting chooks, ticks, or mega ticks, this shirt is the perfect, this shirt is perfect for the bird watcher in your life. Ornithologist will love this birding ornithology shirt. So this way, if somebody's, you know, searching for an ornithologist present or whatever, um, then this will come up because an ornithologist has to do with bird, bird watching. <laughs> My next shirt's going to say twitching for the birds. Jude says, go for it. <laughs> okay, so um, that's it. And then I just copy and paste it onto the other one. So I've got two shirts. And, you know, maybe you don't like this process. Yeah, that's fine. That's just what I do. Um, and, but I like it because then I can see for certain um, niches, they tend to like the dark on the light better. It just varies, you know. You just never know. Okay, so that's it. I don't usually put anything down here. I used to copy all this and paste it down here, but then I was like, that's going to be on there twice. I don't know if that's going to be viewed as spamming. So I'm um, saving this. And then this will pop up over here saying, check it out. But I've already reached my submission of four for the day, so I cannot do this. So I'm going to save it in draft. And I can save it like so. But I'm going to close this out real fast because I don't want you to see everything else. Because <laughs> it'll take you right ah, It'll take you to my uh, page where all my other shirts are. So, again, saving this in draft. Save right there. And I'm going to close that out right there. Uh, let's see. The, okay, so here, let me stop real quick. Uh, let me look and see if there's any questions. I have some other windows open to talk to you about. And then American Apparel went bankrupt. Yeah, they got bought out, didn't they? If there's a, I had thought about, somebody asked about, you know, if local people, you know, if I wanted to have somebody locally create designs and sell on my account. I'm just like, man, it, it sounds like a good idea, but then it sounds like a pain in the backside because I'm like, I've got to go get, a lawyer or somebody to write up a contract so they know like how much they're going to get the percentage and I, uh, I don't know so uh let's see oh thanks Jude. i only i can only upload two a day i'm going to leave twitching to margaret thanks all right so let me share with you some of the other sites that i have open down here so a lot of people are asking you know where can i find images where can i find um things to use and these are just the, the places I use. I know there's more out there um, for sure. Like I know Glenn and Yong did an episode on Merch Minds about trademarks and copyrights and how to find out and make sure that you're using something that is okay. Um, so even when you're looking at things that are you know public domain, they should be free to use. Um, but, but take a look at the commercial license and make sure that... Um, that it says that it's free to reproduce commercially. Um, I can't think of the exact wording right now. I see. Let's see. Were the birds from PicMonkey? Nope. 
they weren't. <laughs> so let me share with you the sites that I use. One of them is a paid site. One of them is a free site. Uh, and, but even if it's free, you need to make sure that the commercial license says it's okay you know, for commercial use. Graphic Stock is a site that I use. It is a paid site. I don't know how much it is. I have a um, link down below from a video I did a while back where it says you could get a seven day free trial um, and all of their images are good for commercial use. I don't know if the, the link is still good, so but it's worth a try. Um, so yeah, because if you get a seven day free trial, I think you can download so many designs um, from their site to use. If it's still good, hopefully it is. And then another site that I use a lot is Open Clip Art. I think this is where I got the birds. So I would have typed in like bird silhouette because I wanted a silhouette. So yeah, the, and this is probably where I got it. So there was a ton. But even so, like even when you're using a site like this that's got like free, quote unquote, free um, to use clip art, like I've seen pictures of like Nemo, like people have drawn pictures of Nemo and like, yeah, yeah, it's free, take it, use it. You know, but you couldn't use that on a shirt. It's not cool, you know. Hey Kate, how's it going? Alrighty, so that's another site that I like to use, Open Clip Art. There's others, there's Pixabay, and I'm sure there's there's others as well. So um, I do have some more videos that I'm going to put out about um, merch, but I probably won't do them live because I had more hiccups in this than I kind of anticipated. But I, I wanted to take, you know, it's time to go through the whole process other than just designing the shirt out. Um, I'll do that in another one. So. If you have any questions in the chat, let me know. If you're watching this later, leave a question down below, uh, and I will do my best to answer it. Again, I don't use Adobe Illustrator. I know it's probably the better way to go, but this is the, I don't know, Adobe Illustrator method of designing shirts and uploading and just kind of what my process is. So hopefully it was helpful, and... I don't see any. I know life is so fun, <laughs> Joe says. Uh, but yeah, with the mess ups happen, and look how red I am. Oh my goodness, from from my embarrassment from messing up. <laughs> so thank you, Margaret. This is definitely one to keep on the Pinterest board. Oh, thanks. Um, Garage Slip says, "How do I figure out pricing?" I kind of go off of what the design looks like generally. Um, if it looks like a higher quality shirt. I don't know. I mean, six nine sixteen ninety nine is usually the lowest, and then nineteen ninety nine is usually my tops. So I kind of go in there. But if I have one that's a hot seller, I bump that up, you know, to nineteen ninety nine. And remember when there was the freeze was happening? Remember when everyone was frozen? I had gone in, and a lot of people were saying, "Oh, you need to start lower," you know, fourteen ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine, and then. Uh, and then bump it up after it sells. Well, I did that for a bunch of my shirts, and then the freeze hit. And so I couldn't. And then these shirts started selling, 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 selling. I'm like, ah, right? But anyway, all right. So let me, there's some more questions popping in. So that's how I figure out my price. Just kind of, yeah, make it up as I go along. Um, your own logo somewhere on a shirt for branding. I haven't done that yet. And my logo is like my head, right? My, it's like a picture of me. Or I have one of my grandmother, so eh, maybe I will. That'd be fun. Randy hasn't gotten approved yet, and I've told him he needs to change his his business name. So, but his his business name, if you've heard me talk about it before, he's he put Test Tees as his business name, and I told him that might be a red flag for Amazon that you're going to be trouble. So you might want to change that. All right, think about it. Um, um, are are there different pricing? Oh, there are different pricing strategies. I like to do fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. You just have to do what works for you, for sure. Um, Camilla, so if you want to do merch shirts, you have to have to sell on Amazon for some time. I don't think so. Um, I know people that are selling merch on merch that aren't on Amazon selling on Amazon. So, yep, it is doable, Lonnie. Totally doable. So I would apply if you haven't already. And I think that's it. So again, if you're watching later, leave me a question or comment down below. I'm sure I skimmed over stuff or forgot something to say. Um, but I will have more coming soon. I've got a list of, of videos to do for merch stuff. So yes, I'm, I'm hoping everybody gets 
uh, approved soon. There are other print on demands, and I did hear that they're going to be changing their um, application process. Yes, love? Quickly, yeah. Um, they're, they're going to be changing their application process, and this is just what I've heard through the grapevine. I think I heard it from Glenn, who heard it from somebody else, um, that if you are on other print on demand sites, that that might actually help you to show like your a, a established sort of print on demand person. I I have I was on look how red I'm getting. I was on um, Teespring for a little bit, but I haven't had time to get other print on demand stuff really rolling again. Okay, so thanks so much, um, everybody. Thanks, Joe. And when did I start? It's been over a year now. It's been over a year now. Okay, so yeah, for sure, hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for some more merch videos coming later. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.